Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, here we are once again with our favorite food critic, wine critic, and just storyteller, John Mariani. How are you doing, John? I'm very well. I'm very well indeed. Hey, John, you, uh, I don't think, have met our, uh, or your fellow contributor to Celebrating Act 2, Manny Pacheco. He does movies. He's a Hollywood historian. We talk about movies old and new and stars and things. And, and the other day, off air, after we had finished um, uh, doing a segment with him, we got talking about um, Ratatouille. I don't know why Ratatouille came up, but I thought to myself, even though that's a uh, animated film cartoon, it was very, very good. It really was a foodie movie. It was about a, a food critic and a mouse and a rat and a kitchen and a guy who wanted a little rat who wanted to become a chef. And it was a wonderful little movie. And I thought you probably, of all people, would have a whole list of your favorite food movies. I do. Go for it. Well, Ratatouille would certainly be near the top of my list. Uh, it's not a children's movie, although kids can watch it, but they're not going to get, I don't think they're going to get 80% of the references uh, that, uh, that adults would get, number one, or really care about f the food critics. They like the mouse and so forth, but um, the rat. Uh, but they did that with such fidelity. I mean, not only was the food itself made and shown shown how it was made um, completely according to classic French traditions. But the copper pots, the range, the stove range was perfect. The tiles were perfect. The look of the outside, I mean, everything about it, they did a lot of research on that and, and got it down to a T. And it's a very, very funny movie. It's a very touching movie. It has some romance to it. Yeah. So uh, while we're on the subject of romance, you can't get more... Uh, romantic than Penelope Cruz, and she made a movie called Woman on Top back in 2000, in which she uh, is, is, is a woman of great sensuality because she uh, cooks with uh, chilies, chili peppers, and the her aroma in her skin comes out of her and drives men crazy. <laughs> 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 you, got fruit, you got chili peppers, and uh, uh, you can't do too much better than that. So um, another Penelope, movie. Pen Penelope Cruz and chili peppers is going to be my new, my new favorite movie. We have to tell Bill Jordan that Bill yeah. just loves Penelope Cruz. Oh, she's 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 a force of nature. When she comes on the screen of any movie she makes, even bad ones, yes, um, she just blows everybody else off the screen. Um, I believe it, now she's. Um, I, I'm mixing up my actresses now, but I, we saw a. I think it was a French movie, French actress. Uh, no, it was a Spanish movie, Spanish, Spanish actress, and I think Penelope Cruz is Mexican. Is that correct? No, she's she's Spanish. No, well, she's maybe Spanish. it was maybe Salma, it was Penelope Salma Hayek. Cruz. Salma Salma Hayek. Hayek is, is okay, the... but then it was Penelope Cruz, and it was a movie that she starred in. It was all in Spanish. And she runs a little restaurant, and mm. she divorces her husband. Turns out she kills him and plants him under a tree. Mm -hmm. um, but she runs this little restaurant, and then she uh, she caters, starts catering to movie crews and things like that. She gets becomes very successful. Wonderful, wonderful, funny. Revolver. Yeah. Volver. Volver. Mm. Volver is the name of it. It means Sorry. return. And she's returning to the tree, returning to her roots as a chef. Wonderful, wonderful restaurant. Would on, uh, uh, movie. Would on your list uh, be uh, Julie and Julia? Uh, or um, I, I enjoyed that very much. I just thought it was. A I great thought movie. it was enjoyable, but the you know it was based on the memoir of the woman who wrote the book, uh, which turned into the movie. It was not. If every time that Meryl Streep is on screen, like Penelope Cruz, yes, you just completely devoted to that character. Yeah. And, I mean, she's such a magnificent actress, so it's tough. I forget who the actress was who was up against her in that movie. But they spent probably two-thirds of the movie with the minor character, the young the young woman. And only the parts that Meryl Streep was in playing, Georgia Child, all in Paris, was, uh, to me, really satisfying. But it was yeah. cute. It was well, getting, definitely very highly enjoyable. Movie. Getting back to your list, uh, do you have some more favorites? 
I do. There was a German movie which was remade with Catherine Zeta-Jones in English, but the original German one is uh, much better. It's called Martha, and Martha is a, an obstinate, very proud, ego-driven uh, woman chef in Germany with a Michelin star who will not give quarter to anybody. So if you say there's not enough salt on this, uh, she'll dump salt on your head. You know, it's, and and but of course she is so devoted that there's no love in her life. She doesn't have room for that but she has a daughter and uh she has to hire a new new uh, sous chef who turns out to be italian and being german looks way down her nose at uh that and hilarity ensues and, and romance it, it's another darling movie uh, most most food movies are pretty darling um as is the big night which came out in 1996 with uh, Tony Shalhoub and Stanley Tucci as two brothers oh, yes. in New Jersey. And um, they're not doing that well because, kind of like Martha, um, Shalhoub only wants to make authentic Italian food at a time in the 1950s when people only wanted to eat spaghetti and meatballs and, and um, uh, veal parmesan. And he's he's outraged by all of this, but he's getting there's there's a there's a rumor that he, that Louis Prima, one of the biggest stars of the time, was going to come to the restaurant, and just from the publicity alone, they would get enormous enormous business out of it. Um, it's really and there is a great deal of romance in it um, with uh, the uh, the two women, one of whom is played by Ingrid Bergman's daughter. Um, Rossellini, Isabella Rossellini. Um, it's a lovely movie, a lot, a lot of food, a lot of delicious food. But the real story is this love between these two brothers, love-hate relationship. Yes. Brothers. Wonderful movie. Wonderful yeah, movie. Absolutely. And the, the last scene, which is played in silence, because they're not even speaking to each other at that point, is one of the most heartbreaking in the nicest, sweetest way. I won't even describe it, but... Mm -hmm. It goes for about three minutes, and um, at the end of it, there's a pat on the back, and uh, you'll just be in good tears. Um, now, Babette's Feast is a uh, movie that many people love because of the food, which only comes in at the end. Babette's Feast is about a French woman who mysteriously appears in a way out of the way village in Denmark where, you know, it's 30 degrees below zero in the middle of summer type of place. And everybody is these Lutheran or, or Calvinists and like they just deny all pleasure, um, are suspicious of anybody, especially French women showing up. And um, at the end of the movie, she says she's going to prepare them a meal she'll, they'll never forget. And these people, they surround the table and they put tentatively like, are we sinning by even e being here with this wine and food? And they each taste with their spoon the soup, and their eyebrows shoot up, smile comes to their faces, and, of course, they drink wine and they're sunk. And there's a big surprise <laughs> at the end of the movie. It's just a darling, darling movie that everybody seems to love. But it's cold! It is a dreary, gray movie. No sunlight penetrates this movie. Um, I also love... Um, uh, 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 Chocolat, which is actually um, uh, English, Johnny Depp. English, yeah, Johnny Depp, and the, the glorious um, um, Juliette Binoche, who is again a strange French woman who comes this time to a French town, which is also very straight laced, um, and everybody in it has has romance problems and there's divorces and woman whose husband beats her and so forth and this lovely woman and her daughter open a chocolate shop and kind of like uh penelope cruz's uh uh chili peppers uh this just permeates the town the glory of her chocolates and johnny depp is kind of a gypsy who comes into her life and um, at the very end the mayor who was the most uh uh, the strictest about this is going to this chocolate shop is ruining the morals of our town. He uh, accidentally gets into the shop to destroy it, and he tastes the chocolate and goes into an orgasm of of ecstasy. Uh, it's a, it's a very charming movie. Um, I love Tortilla Soup, which is about a uh, Los Angeles Latino family, and uh, just beautifully uh, directed by Ang Lee. Um, Chinese, uh, Chinese director. Is he Chinese or Korean? I, I forget. And um, Raquel Welch is in it and Hector Alizando 
and uh, it's it's, uh, it's they're trying to prevent his three daughters from leaving him for husbands, a selfish father, and he does so by demanding they always be there for dinner. A charming movie. Um, I like a hundred foot journey, which came out in two thousand fourteen, in which a in a small French town, um, a, an Indian chef comes to this town. And again, just like the, the reverse of, of the other the other uh, movies I mentioned, uh, they look down their nose at this Indian who actually does know how to cook very well and saves this French woman's restaurant by making it into a Michelin star. And um, quite love Helen Mirren. Yes, it is Helen Mirren. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, two the two last one. There are many more like Tampopo. We mm-hmm. mentioned Ratatouille. Um, uh, Eat, Drink, Man, Woman is another Ang Lee movie, which is... Right. I'm writing these down. <laughs> as um, as uh, the... Uh, uh, as Tortilla Soup. Um, this is about the frustrations of the family Sunday dinner, which we've all gone through, and it takes place in Taipei and Taiwan. And then Vatel is not... It's not a great movie, but it's about uh, 18th century France, Louis XIV, and um, and Vatel was his chef, and he was uh, uh, considered the greatest French, the greatest uh, chef in France, and therefore the world. And it's a famous story about how his um, on the day of the biggest feast of the year that Louis was holding for something like a thousand of his closest friends, um, he's waiting and waiting and waiting, and Vatel, the, the fish is not showing up on time. It just doesn't show up. And so he runs himself through with a sword in shame. And the last scene, of course, the fish is just alive and chill. <laughs> it's right. very, very sad and funny and very French. And uh, <laughs> with it. Well, this is great. I, we now have a list of about uh, 10 movies that we can binge watch on food. Dinner uh, and a movie. Dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, we'll have to go make up a shopping list find out all the favorite uh, meals that are being served so that we can have an appropriate meal along with each movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, you've made me hungry now. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> You're always hungry anyway. Thank you. Thanks again, John. This has been a great, you, great, great session. Well, be well. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.